Yeah, you know, uh, yeah. Hello, welcome to my short presentation. I would like to present you how to adjust how you set up the firewall to play Age of Empires 2 over the internet. Um, well, at first we configure the wind firewall, which is uh, necessary, uh, uh, which is necessary in overall. Uh, if you have the Windows firewall, if you have another firewall, I recommend you to read um, the manual um, how to um, how to make exceptions there. Yes, well, um, normally the Windows firewall would block our uh, Age of Empires 2, uh, which block the Empires 2 network network gaming, which is necessary to play over the internet. So we have to make an exception for Age of Empires 2 that it's allowed to. Um, to use the network gaming option. Uh, well, then we click uh, under the system settings. We click um, Windows Firewall, and there we click um, Exceptions. Yeah, and an exception. We find a list of all the pro of all the pro uh, programs and software uh, tools that are installed on our PC and access the firewall, uh, which are already um, which are already unlocked. So uh, I just rem uh, I remove now some entries that's not necessary for you. I, I just would like to remove them to show you how it works. Yes, and then we make our exception. Well, to add a new exceptions, for example, for Age of Empires 2, we click um, uh, Program. Uh, it's a small it's a small button on the left corner of the window, and then we wait a bit until the program is ready and there it is yes and there we have a list of all the tools and uh, of all the um, software that's installed on our computer and uh, yeah that we would like to add or that we would like to add yes and then we search for Age of Empires 2 well it's not listed here so we click browse and just look in the Age of Empires 2 uh, directory there we have uh, some some EXEs, which uh, um, the first one that is important to us is Empires 2. Uh, Empires 2 is uh, the main EXE file, and it counts for uh, Age of Empires 2 without expansion. So if you have no expansion installed, you sh uh, should only see the Empires 2 EXE file. Well, and then we have H2 uh, down slash. Um, uh, downline uh, X1, which is the Age of Empires 2 um, expansion. So, if you want to play a Age of Empires 2 expansion over the internet, you should add this one. Or if you want to play the normal game, you just simply add this one. Well, but we want to play uh, the Conquerors, uh, the expansion, and so we add this. Well, then we click OK, and we are done. There it is. And then we save our settings by clicking OK. Well, this is uh, the first step that was necessary. Now we want to um, adjust our um, the firewall in the um, in the router. If you have a DSL connection with a local area network, then you should um, you should follow these simple steps that I will show you now. If not, you can just skip and move on to the next step. Uh, or the next video. I forgot I only have the uh, firewall tutorial on this video. So um, we want to adjust our um, our firewall now. So we click start and run to uh, find out which is our IP address and the address of our router. The router is a network device which is not directly attached to our computer. Well, it, well, it is directly attached to the computer, but not directly. Um, the computer does not directly know that uh, what a router really is and so we just have to find out which is uh, what is the address of these as a device so we click run and uh, enter CMD and hit OK and then we get this nice command line tune and there we enter ipconfig to find out um, our IP address and the IP address of our router well then we have some entries you haven't uh, I guess you haven't that much as I have well, and there we have our IP address, it's the IP address of our computer, and the standard gateway, that is the address of the router. So, we uh, just enter now 
the address of the router and then we get access to the software that's installed on the router. Well, there we have it. Um, at first, uh, you sh normally you have a password in front of uh, a, a password to access the router. Uh, if you haven't accessed it before, it is a password like admin internet. Uh, if you don't know, you should look in the manual. So yeah, uh, this interface, what you see here, depends from router to router. It's it's uh, I guess it's different on you as uh, uh, I guess you can see a different one, but they all work most time like the same. Well, then we enter the password and we have access to our router. Yeah, then we want to um, set up the ports. The ports are uh, is um, well. Then we have to look under the uh, security button here, like uh, for me. If you don't know where you can unlock your ports, you should check the manual um, for port forwarding, uh, port exceptions, or firewall. Like, uh, search for these articles in your manual, and you should easily find it. So there we have it, security, and there we ch uh, decide port forwarding. And here I said persistent port forwarding. Yeah, and there we have the entries are all the uh, all the uh, first one this is the direct uh, the display port. This is important for Age of Empires 2. There we have the inborn part uh four uh four seven two six two five uh four over the TCP protocol. Then you have to enter your private IP address, which is this one. And the private port, which should be matched with the inbound port. Uh, if you don't know what you, uh, if uh, the field doesn't call inbound port or private port, just enter uh, this number everywhere you, where you can find port. That's, that should do it. Uh, and then we have another direct play port here. It's uh, like the first one, but uh, with a little difference. We do this here over the ODP protocol, and uh, not over the TCP protocol. Same have, and then we have here another direct play. It's from the range 2,300 to 2,400 over the ODP protocol. 24. This is the private IP address, as I already told. And then we have, um, yeah, the uh, private port, which should match with the first entry. Well, and then we have, at last, not least, the first one, uh, this port. This is like the first one, but not over the ADP protocol, it's over the TC, uh, TCP protocol. So, and overall, you should open the port 4764 uh, over the ODP and TCP protocol and you have to open the port 2300 to 2400 over the TCP and UDP protocol. Well, if you have uh, done that, you click apply, setting the save now and yes, you can. You have successful, uh, you are done with adjusting the firewall. Well, then I would like to finish the presentation. In my next presentation, I show you how to uh, how to join the game and how to access it and well I hope I see you there. Have a nice day.